Hello everyone! Uh, for those of you who know Voiboy, this uh, game is gonna be quite a treat. And those of you who don't know who he is, it's still a nice story uh, of how good things happen to people who play chess. Now, uh, I've been playing League of Legends since around Season 3, since the end of Season 2. Uh, I haven't been playing it uh, that much uh, for the past two years, I guess, but uh, before that I, I really did enjoy a couple of games per day. and. Uh, I don't know that was like five years ago maybe maybe yeah five years ago uh, you know I was uh, checking out some videos on YouTube and uh, I searched League of Legends best plays or something like that and uh, it was like the world championship or something and uh, Voiboy just did a double kill in top lane with Olaf and it was quite a spectacle you know everybody was sharing that video so okay I decided uh, you know I'm interested in League of Legends I'm gonna follow Voiboy and uh, I definitely enjoyed a lot of videos uh, he presented on YouTube and I also followed uh, a lot of his streams on Twitch. And uh, this is one interesting event that happened in one of his streams. Uh, he was uh, playing uh, League as usual and um, uh, although Voiboy did uh, enjoy chess when he was younger, uh, he also won some trophies but uh, haven't played actively in quite a while. But he started playing against his subscribers, you know, uh, while he waits uh, in between games. And uh, one of his subscribers offered him uh, $1,000 uh, if he can defeat him in a, in a game of chess. And uh, Voiboy agreed to do so and uh, they decided to play a game. And this is the game. Uh, the game is being played while uh, the League of Legends uh, <laughs> game is uh, getting ready to start. So Voiboy has the white pieces uh, and he plays e4. Uh, we have e5, knight to f3, d6, uh, d4 and knight to f6. Uh, we have D captures on E5, D captures on E5, and here Voiboy plays uh, Knight captures on E5. Uh, a, a much better move would be something like Queen captures on D8, King captures, and then you capture on E5, uh, grabbing a pawn, also threatening the F7 pawn uh, to fork the King and the Rook. Uh, this would have been much better, but okay, it's a, it's a two-minute game, so two two minutes per player, uh, no no uh, no additions in time. Uh, yeah, he's playing against Spooky Shockwave. Spooky Shockwave is the person, is the uh, per, that person's username, and he's the one that offered Voiboy one thousand dollars if he can beat him. So okay, he played Knight captures on e5, uh, Queen captures on d1, and King captures on d1, and now Knight captures on e4. So the material is equal, but now instead of uh, Black not being able to castle, now Voiboy isn't able to castle. Uh, Bishop to e3. Uh, bishop to d6, attacking the knight, knight back to f3, uh, bishop to g4, and uh, knight to c3. Uh, bishop captures on f3, g captures on f3, and now knight captures on, c uh, on c3. b captures on c3, and uh, at the end of this uh, series of exchanges, uh, Voiboy now has uh, four pawn islands and a, and a pretty crippled pawn structure, so black, black is much better here. Uh, what he does have in at least some compensation is the bishop pair, which is always useful in, in an open game. Uh, spooky Shockwave castles, bishop to d4 now, uh, b6, uh, we have rook to g1, uh, placing the rook on an open file, and now f6. Uh, he could have grabbed the pawn, but uh, like I said, it's a two minute game, and he wants to, he wants to diminish the influence of this uh, dark square bishop by placing these pawns on a dark square. But then again, Voiboy does have a light square bishop, so, you know, it's not really all that all that simple. Uh, h4 now, since uh, black didn't capture a pawn, Voiboy decides to push it. Uh, c5 with an attack on the bishop, bishop to e3, and rook to e8 now. Uh, bishop to b5, uh, attacking the rook on d8, rook to e5, and now bishop to f4. And this bishop to f4 move seems like, uh, it seems like Voiboy the genius is creating... Uh, <laughs> Uh, an evil trap for black. Uh, rook to d5 check and uh, black falls for it. Rook to d5 was actually a terrible move and uh, while I was watching this game I thought man this uh, this boy boy really really knows what he's doing uh, and here he played bishop to d2 because it seems that uh, while black is checking the white king uh, he's also attacking this bishop on f4. It seems like boy boy will lose a piece uh, but what actually boy boy could have done here is play king to e2 and now black is lost. Uh, there is uh, if you if you capture the bishop, bishop captures on f4, then bishop to c4 comes, uh, you lose the rook, there is no way to defend the rook, and not only do you do you lose the rook, but you also have to lose either the knight or the other rook, uh, because what are you going to play here? If you play something like knight to c6, then bishop captures rook, uh, the king is in check, you're also attacking the knight, king to f8, and the bishop captures knight on c6. 
And if you don't play knight to c6, if you play knight to d7, then bishop captures rook, uh, king f8, and the bishop captures the other rook on a8. So this would have been uh, this would have been great if Voiboy went for king e2. But okay, he played bishop to d2, and then now bishop to f4. Uh, Spooky Shockwave is now pinning this bishop and getting ready to capture it. And here, bishop to d3 was played. Uh, again, bishop to c4 wins the game straight away. Uh, but uh, it seems Voiboy missed the idea of, of bishop to c4. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a two-minute game, and he's also uh, wondering if his uh, League of Legends game started already. Uh, bishop to d3, and now bishop captures on d2, king captures on d2, and knight to c6. Uh, c4 attacking the rook, rook d4, and now c3 kicking the rook. Uh, rook to d7, now king c2, unpinning so the bishop can move. Uh, rook a to d8, uh, spooky shockwave now doubles up on the d file, and we have rook g to d1. Uh, knight, knight to e5, attacking the bishop, and now comes the bishop to e4, uh, protecting the f3 pawn and uh, offering the exchange of rooks, also setting up uh, a very nice trap. Uh, rook captures on d1 was played, rook captures, rook captures, and king captures. And uh, although, okay, here, uh, I mean, the material is equal, but Voivoy now does have uh, a bishop against a knight. And uh, he does have still th these doubled pawns. So it's uh, not, I mean, black is better here because of the doubled pawns, but uh, uh, it was at this moment that uh, Voivoy pressed Alt-Tab and check checked his uh, League of Legends game. Uh, he bought some items, he was mid lane with Yasuo, and uh, he clicked on the center of the map to go mid lane. Uh, then he went back to the chess game, and uh, in this position, uh, Spooky Shockwave played knight captures on c4. And Voibo immediately uh, seized the day with bishop to d5 check, uh, uh, checking the king and also attacking the knight. And now it's over. King f8, uh, bishop captures on c4, and now it's only a matter of technique, and now Voibo shows uh, his great endgame skills. King e7, king c2, now king d6, uh, both players are uh, activating their king in the endgame, king e5, king e3, now Voivoy uh, gains opposition on the enemy king, king f5, uh, a4 now, g6, uh, f4, uh, we have uh, g5, h captures, uh, f captures, and f captures, king captures, and now f4 check, and uh, <coughs> Voivoy created a passed pawn, this pawn is now going to become a queen, uh, king f5, uh, king to f3, again gaining opposition, uh, king f6, and now the king is coming into the game. King g6, uh, king e5, king g7, king e6, uh, h7, h6, that's a pretty weird move to play, you know. He probably wanted to play h5, but he misclicked. So h6, uh, king e7, now king back to g6, uh, bishop to e6, not allowing the black king uh, to get anywhere near this uh, past pawn. King h5, uh, f5, king h4, f6, king g5, uh, f7, king g6, and now f8, queen. Uh, in this position, Voiboy yelled yes, and uh, he realized that his times, uh, that his opponent's time has run out. So uh, he achieved this great victory. Uh, it was, a, like I said, a two-minute game, so not, not a lot of uh, planning involved here, and he's not an active player or anything. He just enjoys an occasional game or two against his subscribers. And uh, yeah, uh, he won this game and uh, Spooky Shockwave said uh, before the game that he will uh, donate $1,000 to Boy Boy, uh, but he has to give $500 to charity. And uh, Boy Boy agreed to these terms, uh, but after the game Spooky Shockwave said that uh, he was currently on vacation and that he has no means now to actually uh, do the donation uh, at the moment, but that he will do it later. Uh, now I have no idea if Boy Boy got those $1,000. Uh, it would be a shame if he didn't, but uh, then uh, almost a couple of seconds after this an amazing thing happened. Uh, some some person on Twitch uh, with a username Gary Kasparov uh, donated uh, 550 or 560 dollars to Voiboy, uh, saying that he didn't uh, play this game against him, but that uh, at least uh, he wants to donate half of the price to him. So, you know, uh, I don't know if Voiboy got those $1,000 that Spooky Shockwave promised him, uh, but if he did and he got those uh, 500 and something dollars from a user named uh, Gary Kasparov, then uh, then it seems a Voiboy, who's a professional League of Legends player, uh, got over $1,500 for playing one two-minute game uh, online in between his games. 
and that is more money than uh, professional chess players make in in two minutes that that is an insane amount of money so yeah uh, but uh, th that's just my point you know he's a professional league of legends player he makes league videos he streams league uh, but it was uh, only when he played a game of chess did he get uh, fifteen hundred dollars for playing a two-minute game so like i said good things happen to people who play chess so yeah uh, that's the game i do hope you enjoyed it uh, i would like to thank uh, simo vikinen and sebastian bardon for your contribution to my channel uh, thank you a lot i really appreciate it as usual you can check two of my previous videos here uh, thank you all for watching and uh, i will see you soon